Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking about an over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of everything. We are in uh, in Ithaca, New York on uh, Friday, August 11th. It is August 11th. We have hit our high today of 75 degrees. We're at a sweltering 75 degrees. And uh, so anyway, guys, I am uh, quickly fading. I have been awake now for, is it 38 hours? If my math is correct, I'm losing my math skills. I just need to sit here and talk while I drive home to keep myself from falling asleep at the wheel. So uh, we might get around to the Manga Bay Roundup tomorrow. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to talk about, I have, uh, <clears throat> what I wanted to do, I have been, been having the very disquieting experience of listening to the, the show on NPR that I used to have some respect for uh, just a few years ago. Uh, I, I had some, a, a little bit of respect left for Science Friday on, uh, on uh, NPR. And, you know, I, I just wanted to turn on the, uh, I, I just wanted to turn on and, 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 and let whatever this guy's name is, Ira Plato, uh, you know, just bray his, his denial, his, uh, his ignorance, his denial uh, about how doomed we are. Now, now, Science Friday still does a little bit better job of the, you know, the first part, uh, talking about how doomed we are. They are a little bit better than the competition, but they have a very low bar. But what they have descended into, uh, I, I mean, uh, we were just listening to stories on the sustainable harvest of bluefin tuna. This was a... Huh, a, a hopeful story that uh, we can just uh, go ahead and start uh, cranking up the harvest of bluefin tuna. We, uh, we had that insult to my intelligence. Then they went over to, uh, to, to talking about uh, one of these goddamn big lithium discoveries in the state of Maine and, and New England that there's this giant lithium uh, pit that they have discovered and Ira and, 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 and NPR was, was actually toying around with the idea that lithium mining in the state of Maine can be sustainable without harming the landscape or the water. Uh, you, you, you know, this, uh, this level of denial, uh, it, it's just reached this level of denial of, of, of how doomed we are, where Science Friday is suggesting that we can just mine lithium and start harpooning uh, bluefin tuna, whatever. And uh, it just, uh, it, it, it is absolutely staggering. Absolutely staggering to me. Uh, how this, uh, th th this level of denial uh, but, you know, you can expect this uh, on, on Fox News, but what, uh, you, you, you know, NPR uh, ha has completely, 
it completely uh, crapped out these little lefties uh, over there at uh, NPR climbing on, uh, you know, this lithium bandwagon. Just mine the planet to save the planet. Uh, so anyway, this whole subject of denial, I was actually, I'm, I am embarrassed to admit, I was over on one of these uh, other Doomer channels uh, this morning. I was watching one of these other Doomer channels that we don't talk about uh, on Collapse Chronicles. And th th this dude, of course, like, often happens with his videos, kind of the same thing that happens to my video, the, uh, my videos, the camera battery collapsed on him. Uh, after 16 minutes, I don't know why this dude cannot figure out uh, how to charge a camera battery in, in, in the year 2023, but it was actually, uh, I guess he recorded it at 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, this guy was rambling on it. It, it was actually okay. So, wh what he was talking about, uh, I, I don't know. There's, a, you, you might have heard it. So apparently, this guy has some unnamed, like minor medical condition that uh, he has finally gotten out of denial about. And, uh, it, you know, th this guy is a doomer on one level, even though I don't care for this loudmouth. Uh, you know, he does understand that we're doomed. And what, what the gist of what he was talking about uh, in, in, in that video was how he has been in complete denial of the uh, uh, of this medical condition uh th this minor medical condition uh that uh, he, he's more worried about the uh the financial uh knock-ons than he is the medical knock-ons before this nightmare is all over but you know the gist of what he was talking about was you, you, you know i am a doomer and how I have been looking right directly in the face this growing mountain of evidence mounting week after week, month after month, uh, that, that he uh, needed to face up to this and, and, and get to uh, the bottom of this. You know, I mean... He was he was given uh, you know photographic evidence uh, was shown to him. Uh, he had people, I guess, talking right directly to him. Dude, there is a problem here. You need to tend to. Uh, he even I, I guess that that he literally had. The physical evidence, I, I don't know, I mean, I don't know what any of this means, but he's talking about how he literally had to go along with all of this uh, 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 other estimate. He literally had the physical evidence in his hand yesterday. And he was still in denial. Uh, uh, about what was going on with, with, with his own body that had been sending him, uh, you, you know, these little uh, obvious uh, red flags for, for months. And I guess he finally, he finally spent 30 seconds on Google. For the first time in his entire life, he went onto google.com and Googled his symptoms within 30 seconds. There it was. There it was. And so finally, he uh, is uh, out of denial. So that was what the that was the short version of the video. I mean, if <clears throat> you don't have to go listen 
uh, to this dude. That was the Cliff Notes version of it. <coughs> but I think what he was doing in that <coughs> video <coughs> was was getting ready to use his own personal example, you, you know, just kind of, uh, of a segue in, into the, I'm not sure, I, you know, I can't read this guy's mind. I think what he was doing, just starting into when the camera collapsed after 16 minutes, uh, that he was starting to segue in to uh, just what the hell do clueless morons need? What what evidence? And I'm not just talking uh, John Stossel and Judith Curry and uh, <coughs> the, the, these usual gangs. Uh, it, 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 you know, <coughs> read it. <coughs> God damn it! Reading in the Guardian. You know, a couple of weeks ago, uh, remember where, where Michael Mann being quoted in The Guardian? Michael Mann uh, telling The Guardian he sees no evidence, no evidence that climate change is accelerating on this planet in the year 2023. Now, <clears throat> that was before, I guess, they, they, they pulled 55 crispy critters, uh, 55 crispy critters uh, out, of, out of the rubble of, of that fire. I mean, even in NPR, I, I will have to give Ira a, a, a little bit of a nod. Uh, you know, he was talking about <clears throat> on one of these, whatever he was covering, that, uh, you know, talking about we were hearing from somebody over there in Maui who did not burn up, but uh, he was talking about uh, how that he had spoken to his friends the day before the fire. The day before the fire. Uh, they are not anywhere on the list of 55 uh, crispy critters. Uh, he is he is convinced that they just haven't pulled his friends out of the rubble, you know. And, and he, he, you know, he was saying, he, he, you know, just if you had suggested to his friends one day, one day before they probably died in a wildfire in Maui that in the next 24 hours that they were going up in a in a wall of flame that they would uh, they would have looked at uh, looked at their friend a uh, lot like he was a complete lunatic it's the uh <clears throat> you know and the same thing for uh <clears throat> You know, people in Eastern Canada. If, if, if one year ago uh, you, you were talking about how Eastern Canada uh, was going to be going up in flames, you would get the same uh, get the same look. And uh, if, if you uh, <coughs> say it to <coughs> people right here in Ithaca, New York. That uh, this could happen to Ithaca, New York. It's, it, it happened in Maui. It happened in that island in Greece. It's happening in eastern Canada, north of us, uh, in in Ithaca, New York. And the uh, vast majority of people would look at you and roll their eyes. And I don't even know if I, to this day, am, am one of the people, uh, if somebody, as somebody was, uh, a few days ago, uh, like, dude, it, it can happen here, or did he say it can or it will uh, happen here in, in the Finger Lakes of New York. There, there is nowhere left to run. There is nowhere left to hide. 
uh, even when it's 75 degrees on August 11th, uh, Ithaca, New York could, could be in a fireball uh, next summer. Uh, and and <clears throat> And it's got you know it, it it's got me thinking, listening to this uh, dude uh, talking at four o'clock in the morning, and uh, li listening to uh, this clueless moron, uh, Ira Flato on NPR Science Friday with uh, with their blind spots. Uh, you know I I can't. <coughs> can't help but wonder uh, you, you know how many blind spots do do I have right now uh, about my own body like, could there be something going on in my own body right now uh, <coughs> that <coughs> that the <coughs> You know that the universe is tr is is trying to tell me about, uh, like like, dude, <clears throat> you you need to go get this checked out by a a doctor, or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> but there there's nothing that you know. I don't see anything. Uh, I I, I see absolutely. Uh, you know nothing. I'm a pretty damn uh, healthy guy. I'm a, a, you know, I'm 63 years old. I uh, I, I feel like I'm healthier uh, than than most people uh, half my age. Am I in denial uh, about this? Do I have a blind spot? I mean, that's why they're called blind spots. That uh, if we. Uh, if, if we could see the reality when we, we have a, a, a mountain of evidence, and certainly on the scale of the collapse of a planet over the last 50 years, and we, we, they're called a, a blind spot because we, we, we don't see them, and I don't know... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how many blind spots I could have in in, in, in my own life right now, guys. And it, it, and it's not just me. <clears throat> it's, it's not just me. Every one of us. Every single one of us. Uh, ha have these blind spots, but of course, you know, we're never going to admit it. But uh, <clears throat> you know, there is no room in and uh, in, in, in these and in, in these clueless morons' brains who who will not. They they don't. <coughs> they do not want to hear it. I Plato at Science Friday. He doesn't want to hear it any more than John. Give me a break, Stossel. It, it's a bunch of damn prattle. It, it's a bunch of these doomer alarmists talking their crap uh, that doomers have been talking about. Uh, <clears throat> You know, for 10,000 years, uh, how we're in the end times and, and all of this. Uh, and I, I honestly feel like, uh, particularly, you know, with these attacks against doomers, that this uh, denial uh, that we're seeing, it, it's ramping up, guys. It is, uh, it, 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 
that more and more uh, doomers are, you know, are <clears throat> have just heard enough of it. I I did a rant well, yesterday. Am I the only doomer getting burned out on this? It's August 11th. It is 75 degrees. There is this big ass party of beautiful people three blocks uh, from my house today. Uh, you know, with 400 uh, beautiful people. I, I went down there for a few minutes yesterday to see if I could help them set up. The first thing, the first thing that I see when I walked in to this crowd of these young beautiful people was a sign saying Pacha Mama. Pacha Mama. And, and I've been thinking, oh my God, that, that, that is all I need to see. And then, uh, so I, I uh, went up to one of these drop dead, gorgeous, young 20 something hotties. And you know, it was, was joking around. I said, I, I hear there's a party forming down here. And she told me, it's a gathering of beautiful people. She, she said, you know, she was one of these young, beautiful people, and uh, she said, she, she didn't want to describe it as a party, she wanted to uh, <clears throat> describe it as a gathering of beautiful people. She didn't say young, beautiful people, I mean, she was looking at some old doomer, and I just laughed, and I said, well, obviously, uh, I'm not invited to your party, and, and, and you know, and, and she looks at me, and she goes... What do you mean? I can just tell that you're a beautiful person, and uh, good Lord, and uh, <laughs> oh boy, guys, uh, <laughs> it's. We, 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 we've hit the end of the road. Uh, we have stick. A f we're at the stick a fork in us. We're done moment in planetary history. And, uh, and a, a, a few grouchy old doomers in denial uh, about other things in their life. Uh, can see this as clearly uh, as they uh, can see, you know, that beautiful young, uh, <clears throat> beautiful person in front of her uh, Pacha Mama sign. Uh, so, anyway. I am going to wrap this up because I think I can make it home. Uh, I have got to get home and uh, and get get some sleep. As I say, 38 hours with no sleep. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Get out there and get some sleep while you still can. Bye, guys.